the challenge with data and creativity is this fact that people look at data and they think it's a series of numbers or a giant spreadsheet. What they're not seeing is the fact that actually it's consumer insight and it's very recent and real-time consumer insight. And when someone puts a search term into Google, they're actually giving a view of, of who they are. Uh, they're giving a view of what they're interested in. And those sort of signals have got to be really valuable to kind of the creative process because we can begin to build up an understanding of how people are responding to brands get this sense of the fact that um, they understand or don't understand what a brand is actually trying to advertise or communicate to them. So the sense at the moment for me is that creative people take a very subjective view of what an idea should be and sometimes they don't look to kind of this amazing digital data to inform uh, some of the ideas that they're putting together or at least take it into consideration as they're going through into the creative processes that, that make brilliant commercials, that make uh, brilliant advertising. Uh, and part of that is actually us giving that information to them and being a good collaborative partner but part of it is them being willing to kind of take it on board and recognize that it's not media agencies saying that we want to do their job uh, we don't want to create ideas that's not what our core competency is but surely we want to deliver better advertising overall by kind of bringing this insight forward advertising in organizations is really changing so before you know you made brand promises but you weren't necessarily challenged on those brand promises in the way that can consumers can do through social media through consumer forums uh, even in terms of kind of the way that they articulate what brands are doing um, via search so Interestingly, as an organisation, you have to be true to all of your kind of advertising promises. And that means that organisations need to be less siloed because ultimately if they don't have their message running through everything that they do, so uh, whether that be their, their customer relationship management strategies, whether it's that how people talk to people in their call centres, inevitably consumers are going to come online and they're going to challenge uh, exactly what that brand stands for. And I'm seeing a lot more clients at a boardroom level saying that they need to be marketing-led organisations. They need to make sure that the promises that they make are ones that they can keep. They need to be more honest and authentic in everything that they do, whether that's on their website, whether that's in their stores, as, as much as it might be in their TV commercials. And I think those that aren't inevitably are falling foul of the fact that they're spending a huge amount of money in above-the-line media, and then ultimately that's being undermined because consumers are challenging some of the promises they allegedly make. My big takeaway from Advertising Week is that we've been talking about some big themes around programmatic and mobile but I know listening to some of the client feedback on the sessions that they've attended um, they've inevitably started to say I've heard this before you know the, the debate doesn't seem to have moved on or that the debate still feels very fragmented so when we're talking about mobile we're talking about everything from mobile search right through to uh, mobile proximity targeting and we thought that the conversation would have consolidated more and in a sense would have been simpler for to understand and understand what role it plays for our brands. So I think the learning would be that as we move forward into sort of the rest of 2015, we still have a lot of simplifying to do and we still have a lot of definition uh, with clients to talk about what role uh, different platforms play in their marketing and equally so what is the most relevant thing for them to be advertising on.